بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده رسوله. So in the first session or the previous session we concluded with the description of the Quran that was revealed on Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and uh, the time was right people were ready people were actually in need for reformation because of the situation prior to Islam so Allah Azza wa Jal said that he sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the Quran the fourth ver uh, verse Allah Azza wa Jal says وَمَا تَفَرَّقَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْبَيِّنَةِ and those who were given the scripture did not become divided and we'll speak about this division into sects and uh, until after there had come to them clear evidence. Allah here did not mention the, if you notice, did not mention the polytheists. Allah only mentioned the people of the scripture, the people of the Jews and the Christians. Because these people did not deviate nor divide out of ignorance. They had scriptures. And these script, scriptures clearly mentioned the to come prophet or messenger of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so they deviated and divide were divided though they had knowledge <clears throat> so they did not deviate illa min ba'di ma ja'atuhum al bayyina so they were certain that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is coming and they were certain as well that his message is the truth, is divine, is from Allah. They knew that, it's in their books. But they still deviated and were divided. As for the division of the, uh, the Jews and the Christians, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in, an, uh, in a hadith that's reported by Ibn Majah and classified as authentic by Al-Albani. He said the Jews divided into 71 sects and the Christians were divided into 72 sects now let's talk about division on on uh, three levels here level number one is the division amongst the Jews as in the Sikh or the order in in the hadith now before the the uh, the, the message of Isa alayhi salatu was salam the, the Jews became divided into these 71 uh, sects, although their messenger was one, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, and their book was one, a Torah. Yet, they were divided. Uh, scholars said they were divided initially into five major sects, and these five were further split into 71 sects each has its own uh, belief or belief or doctrine now division amongst the jews and the christians themselves uh, although isa alayhi salatu wasalam was also one of the prophets and messengers of the children of israel <coughs> and he was the last one of the children of israel uh, and he came to confirm the Torah. Yet, they, meaning the Jews and the Christians, had so much dispute and enmity against each other uh, that it became very violent amongst them. Thirdly, the division amongst the Christians. The Christians were divided into 72. Now, different sects, Christian sects have different doctrines, different, different beliefs. They have differences in the nature of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Was it a human nature or divine nature? They had difference, differences about the nature of Maryam, his mother. Whether she was divine in nature or human in nature. Right? As Allah Azza wa Jal says at the end of Surah Al-Ma'idah, وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى ابْنَ مَرْيَمَ أَأَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اِتَّخِذُونِ وَأُمِّيَ إِلَى هَيْنِ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ and mention, O Muhammad, when Allah said, 
O Isa, the son of Maryam, was it you who told people, take me and my mother as guides beside gods besides Allah? Qala subhanak. He said, Glory be to you. So some sects attributed divinity to Maryam and others to Isa. Others said, Isa is the son of God. وقالت النصارى المسيح ابن الله. Others said, well, Allah is three. One is the, the concept of Trinity, right? لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله ثالث ثلاثة. They have disbelieved those who said Allah is one of three. So the division amongst the Christian sects also happened and they were uh, 72 sects as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. وَمَا أُمِرُوا Next verse. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ حُنَفَاءَ وَيُقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَذَلِكَ دِينُ الْقَيْمَةِ And they were not commanded except to worship Allah, being sincere to Him in religion, inclining, hunafa, inclining to truth, and establish prayer and give zakah, and that is the correct religion. Hunafa uh, in, 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 in Arabic, Hanif is someone who uh, inclines towards something. And in here it means inclines, is inclined towards the truth from falsehood. That's why Ibrahim alayhi salatu was was called Hanif, because he was inclined to the truth, to monotheism, to the oneness of Allah from the disbelief uh, his people and his father were, uh, were upon. So all, all a person has to do in order to establish correct religion, correct belief, is worship Allah Azza wa Jal alone, being sincere to him, being inclined to the truth and uh, reject disbelief, establish the prayer and pay zakah. Allah Azza wa did not make belief something complicated. It's not complex. And this is what all of them were commanded to do. See, believing in one God, in Allah alone, in other words, was the same message throughout all prophets and messengers. Islam in its broad and general meaning means to submit to the one ilah, to Allah alone. And it's in its special meaning, it is that final divine message sent upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Allah azza wa jal, after that, speaks about people with regards to their reaction to divine messages. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أُولَئِكَ هُمْ شَرُّ الْبَرِيَةِ This is the first group and their fate. Indeed, those who disbelieved amongst the people of the scripture and the polytheists will be in the fire of hell, abiding eternally therein. Those are the worst of creatures. Now, again, Allah Azza wa Jal is, is talking about how people react to, to messages and what the fate of each group uh, will be. The fact that a disbeliever is the worst of creatures is not something that we say. It is something that Allah stated in the Qur'an. So trying to decorate that for one reason or another goes totally against the Qur'an. The disbelievers are the worst of creatures, as Allah Azza wa Jal stated. Along the same line, which is something I've been hearing a lot uh, 
recently. Uh, someone who leaves the fold of Islam. Right? Apostates from Islam. He is included in the description, being the worst of creatures. Right? He might even be worse because he realized, recognized, knew the truth, practiced it for a while and then decided on his own to leave it. So claiming that, oh, he can be a member of, my, of our community goes against this verse. There are particular rulings in Islam, in fiqh, in jurisprudence, pertaining to such people which are uh, carried out by the Muslim ruler. And it's not by common people, by individuals, by the community. It's only the task of the Muslim uh, leader. Then Allah Azza wa Jal speaks about the second type of people. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمْلُوا صَالِحَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ خَيْرُ الْبَرِيَةِ Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds, those are the best of creatures. How can they not be the best? When they received the message, believed the message, and acted righteously. All of this is something that pleases Allah Azza wa Jal. So indeed, they will be the best of creatures. Then Allah Azza wa Jal, He told us about the polytheists and the disbelievers of the people of the scripture and what their fate is going to be, what the consequence of that is. Here Allah Azza wa Jal describes in, in uh, a bit more uh, detailed manner the uh, consequence of being a believer who acts righteously. جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنات عدن تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه. Their reward with Allah will be gardens of perpetual residence beneath which rivers flow. We ask Allah's favor. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us amongst them. Wherein they will abide forever, Allah being pleased with them. And they with him. That is for those who feared their Lord. Allah Azza wa Jal described the gardens as being perpetual as, res as residents, and then confirmed after that that they will abide therein eternally to comfort the hearts, to say, You are there and you'll never leave. Peace of mind, peace of heart, eternal forever bliss and joy. And the best of all is radiallahu anhu. Is that Allah Azza wa Jal will be pleased with them. We strive so hard to make Allah pleased with us in this dunya. Allah is saying these people once they're there, His pleasure is going to overwhelm them. In the books of Al Imam Al Bukhari and Muslim, Allah Azza wa Jal will address the people of Jannah after they have been admitted into Jannah. We ask Allah to make us amongst those who are admitted into Al Firdaus Al A'la. Allahumma Amin. He said, Hal Raditum? Are you pleased? Are you content? Are you happy? They will say, how can we not be pleased when you gave us something which you didn't give anyone else? He said, I will give you something better. They will say, our Lord, what can be better than this situation? I mean, he says, or will say, I will give you my pleasure. 
and will never be angry with you after it. So this is the, the, the best part, the best reward the people of Jannah will enjoy is having the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal eternally. Thalika, the concluding, uh, concluding the verse, Thalika liman khashiya rabbah. And this is to confirm that this reward is not just going to be for anyone, it's for those who feared their Lord. And fearing Allah Azza wa Jal equals, entails that you act righteously. You fulfill the commandments. You refrain from anything that is haram. It's not by choice. I feel like it or I don't feel like it. When you do all of that, then you are Allah fearful. And then and only then you will deserve to be amongst khayrul bariya, the best of creatures. We ask Allah's help and support to make us firm on His faith. Allahumma ameen. Wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanakallahumma hamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.